Well, guys, we got some good news here, and I would actually say it's two good news stories altogether. Firstly, as the title states, Sadiq Khan's ultra-low emission zone went up in flames recently as people set fire to the stupid things that are blocking the roads. This, while something I can't condone, is a sign that people won't put up with this crap, and that, if you ask me, is good news, because they got more stupidity like it planned. The people can stop it if they want to, they just need to wake up to it first, as you all know. Now, obviously, we get that the aim of this is to end private car use for us, the peasants, and reserve them only for the elites. You have to remember there ain't enough minerals to replace all petrol cars with electric ones and they certainly won't be telling the public that let me tell ya. This means they want us all crammed in public transport alongside the latest knife wielding scumbag that they've imported into the country while they sit there in the nice electric car. Net zero by 2030 and 2050 requires that and so much more which is why this twat is doing this. 15 minute cities ain't there to make your life easier for anyone who doesn't already know that. Now, not long after his net zero anti-car crap went up in flames, Sadiq Khan decided to roll out some half fast pointless bus scheme that's designed to replace people's private cars. A new fast service bus network called Superloop is planned for London's outer boroughs. Six new routes will be created and four incorporated into the network. They will link many of the peripheral boroughs. London Mayor Sadiq Khan hopes it will compensate for the expansion of the ultra-low emission zone. This, I have to say, is good news because, for one, it's completely laughable and won't work, but most importantly, will really piss off anyone who uses their car because buses are the worst form of transport in London. In fact, anyone who owns a car has that car because they never want to use a bus and so are going to be really pissed off by this. When people find out this tosspot's trying to take their cars and replace it with buses, in fact, they might even set the buses alight. Oh, and the bus service he's putting on apparently only costs like £6 million, pound, which to me seems like hardly anything. That there means it's not going to replace the millions of journeys made by cars and makes me ask where the profits from ULES have actually gone. I mean, according to an FOI request, TFL has raked in over £380 million from the ULES scheme as it stands. So how is it there's only £6 million to cover the cost of expanding it even further, which will make them even more money from the public who, let's be honest, are taxed enough? Oh yeah, this is just another tax that's also being used to rob us of our right to own private cars and our right to free travel in the UK. Now, thankfully, councils are standing against this, so we might be able to stop it, but I worry even that will fail, as this is something the government also quietly supports. Like I said, it's needed for their net zero agenda, and so the government supports it, you better believe it. Oh, and for those outside of London, don't sit there thinking this is just a London problem or anything like that. This will be coming to your area very soon, and in fact has already come to some places so far. This means that it will likely be up to us to stop it, the general public. Hopefully enough of us will be there to do it.